Hey guys, it's been a hot minute since I've recorded, but I have been working out here. Um, if you've seen the last video, I had to take a little bit of a break to uh, get the goat paddock done. Um, but I have been working on this in the evenings, uh, which is why there's no footage, um, because it was dark and I was working by a light. So days are starting to get dark sooner. Uh, summer is uh, officially rounding the corner. We are headed into fall, which is my favorite season. And uh, I am super excited to be living over here uh, on the boathouse come this fall. So as you can see, I got all of the sheetrock hung, taped and mudded, and I actually just finished sanding. Um, I did a hand texture called light lace and uh, it's, uh, it's not complicated guys. Uh, you put the mud in your pan and you take it from the pan and you put it in the wall and you basically, you just smooth it out with your knife. So anyways, uh, maybe in the future, I'll be able to shoot a video of that happening, but uh, yeah, the walls are up. So next step is to uh, go through and deep clean this place because everything is now covered in dust, which is why the wood stove is covered with a drop cloth, as well as my cooler and chair. That way I have a place to sit that's nice and clean. Okay, so couple of pro tips for you guys here. Um, first one is buy good roller covers, okay? Buy good roller covers. Don't buy those cheap things because um, they will fall apart. The second one is to take blue tape, okay? And uh, you can kind of stand on it and uh, roll your roller over it a couple times and it'll pull any fibers that are loose off of it. So, and then the other thing you want to do, especially with a five gallon bucket, because you can't mix them too, too well, is uh, get yourself a paint mixer. Ready to go. All right, guys. I accidentally ripped up my floor covering in this one spot while I was sanding the edge of my pole sander. Got a hold of it, but Penny, you guys see her back there? Penny, you doing okay? Penny and I just got back from town. We went in and got paint. I'm so stinking excited. I could almost piddle. What do you think, Penny? Step one, though, um, I need to go through and primer everything. So um, I got five gallons of primer over here. I'm going to uh, go through and roll everything. I caulked all of my corners with just uh, painter's caulk. Before I went into town, uh, it says 30 minutes drive time, but I know that uh, a lot of the times with this stuff, it takes longer than what it says, especially with the humidity here in Missouri. So um, I am going to bust open the primer and uh, start rolling. <laughs> making sure you don't have any lines or drips, okay? That's why you see me go over it so many times. The other thing is, is uh, painting out of a bucket like I am right now is not recommended. Um, you know, if you haven't done this a whole bunch, you'll want to use a tray. Um, otherwise, you can use a, a, another bucket that's clean and put a screen on it. Um, I'm just doing it this way because I've done it enough that I'm comfortable doing it. But um, if you're not careful and or uh, 
you know, you haven't done it or practiced with it a couple times, um, you're going to get drips all over your floor. My floor is completely covered um, because I covered it uh, because I knew I was going to make a ton of dust doing the drywall portion of it. So uh, it's still covered up, so I don't really care if I drip a little tiny bit. Um, but so far, I haven't dripped any, and I usually don't. Um, it's all about taking your time and being patient and uh, thorough, you know. So painting is not, not a fast sport. David, if you're watching this, really sorry, man. You're probably horrified by how I paint. Probably like, no, that's not how you do it. Don't paint out of a bucket. I apologize. It's just what I know, and it works for me. You all have to figure out what works best for you. But I can tell you, don't skip the primer. Don't ever skip the primer. Okay, if you're repainting your house and uh, you don't know what the sheen is, I keep getting bugs in my paint. If you don't know what the sheen is on your walls, you've got to match it or go higher. You can't go from eggshell down to flat without priming first. And I don't care if it says paint and primer in one on the can. Trust me. They don't work. I mean, if you don't really care about how it looks, then go ahead, do it. You do you. I'm gonna do me. But, having done it for customers asking to get paid for the job, I can tell you, paint and primer in one sucks. In order to get it looking really good, you're gonna end up doing three coats you might as well just do one coat of primer the right way the first time. And don't just slop it up, guys. You've got to love it. Okay? Take your time. Be a perfectionist. Oh, it'll make your life so much better. No runs. No lines, and primer is where it starts. Don't just slop up your primer and plan on doing a good job painting. Because if your primer has a bunch of lines and 
low spots where it didn't quite get done, the rest of your project is too. All right, guys, I got everything rolled. Even this little wall right here, I almost forgot it. Um, next step is to brush primer on all of my edges. Can you see the difference there? Fresh drywall versus what I've already primed with the roller. And uh, I just put it on and then back brush, same as rolling, back brush. It'll get rid of your brush strokes quite a bit anyways. Otherwise, you'll have lines from your brushes to look like poo. Nobody wants their house to look like poo, okay? All right, I'm not gonna make you guys watch, watch me. Uh... All right, I am not gonna make you guys watch me uh, brush all the way around this boat. So I will just see you guys in a couple seconds, okay? Can I help you? Hmm? Can I help you? Hmm? All right, guys, uh, painting is, or priming is done. So um, I'm gonna call it quits for the day because the sun is going down. You can see my, my shadows right here. See, sun is going down. And uh, I need to get over and water the greenhouse and the gardens so that my wife isn't disappointed when she gets home. Um, so, I will see you guys tomorrow, which will be in, like, three seconds. Okay, guys. I think that is it for today. I've got all my corners primered on my top edges. Primered. Um, I think I'm going to leave you guys with a cliffhanger. What do you think about that? Um, no, I think that uh, I think this video is probably long enough. And uh, that is the current update for this week. So I am uh, going to call it quits. Thanks for going along with us, guys. Don't forget to uh, like and subscribe, um, you know, if you liked it and want to stick around and see what I do with the rest of this boat. Um, we are almost done with the uh, painting. Uh, next will be trim. I'm going to uh, trim out my windows and my doors and this bench seat um, and then I'm going to build a step right here that goes up to the upper deck. Okay, uh, you guys made it to the end of the video so congratulations, you all deserve a cookie or some ice cream or something. I said so. So go get it, Garrett, Addy. I said so, okay? All right, love you guys. May Yahuwah bless you and we will see you on the next video.